was still watering the damn lawn. I was beginning to suspect that he was surgically attached to that hose. Hi there, Lopez. How's tricks? Senor Stobart, how pleasant to see you. You are well. Fine, thanks. Is the Countess in? She is waiting for you. I will show you up. It's okay, I know the way. Senior Stobart, I feel I owe you an apology. No, you don't. I was impolite on our first meeting. Look, Lopez, just forget about it. I came on like a snake oil merchant. I wouldn't have trusted me in your shoes. You do not understand. Finding the chalice has given my lady a new lease of life. It's a marvel. She smiles, she laughs. The tradesmen are saying that she is on Prozac. Senor Stobart, oh, what a pleasure. Please, sit down. Hi, Countess. The pleasure's all mine. I've brought back your chalice. Why? You've had it cleaned. Yeah, I met an obliging priest with a soft cloth. Have you resolved the Templar mystery? No, not yet. I don't even know what it is I'm after. There are many stories of the knight secreting great wealth away. Whatever. All I know is I don't want the bad guys to get it. Ah, to be young and live in a world of moral absolutes. There's something else that I discovered carved on Don Carlos's tomb. Biblical references. What are the references, Senor Stobart? Psalms 32.7, Corinthians... I am not a good enough scholar to know the Bible, chapter and verse. I meant, what are the quotations? You know, I forgot to ask the priest. I discovered something amazing with that chalice. In Paris, I found a church where they recognized the coat of arms. I found the tomb of Don Carlos de Vasconcelos. You are sure? There can be no mistake? The coat of arms on the chalice matches the one on the tomb. Incredible. You have my most profound thanks. I must go there as soon as possible. Yeah? Well, I'd be happy to show you the city. I'll have a look around if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. It was a small mirror hanging over the sink. From the scum in the sink, it looked like he shaved there. It was just a little utility room with no exit, unless you counted the window, and I didn't.
the De Vasconcellos Mausoleum, where five Templars lie. I didn't want to mess with the building. The door was a handsome piece of work, in keeping with the ornateness of the rest of the building. It was a rod with a cone and a hook on the end. I guessed it was for snuffing out the big candle in the chandelier. The candle had burnt brilliantly, but only for a couple of minutes, some kind of special formulation, I guess, and had yielded up this, a complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please, be my guest. Here's the Bible from the mausoleum. Very well. Let us begin. The first reference. Psalms 32, 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble, thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. My hiding place. Don't get your hopes up too high. This might just be leading us to where we found the chalice. You are right, of course. The next. Okay, John 4, 11. John 4, 11. Here, the well is deep. The next. Uh, quickly! Okay, okay. Uh, Corinthians 4, 5. Here it is. We'll bring to light the hidden things. Any more? Just one. Psalms again. 22, 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, 
for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. The last is confusing. Lions, unicorns, what's it mean? I can't guess. Salient points seem to be a hiding place and a deep well. In no sense is there mausoleum a well, Senor Stobart. Is there a well in the grounds? I do not know. I suppose that there must have been once upon a time. Lopez is the man to ask about anything pertaining to the estate. I'll just have another look around. Very well. An old grandfather clock stood against the wall. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? You must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, si, I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Conchelos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? Si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great! So where is it? How should I know? The well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. Well, you must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard, so that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now, how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water, see? Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water. Even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here. That is hazel. So the Countess feels that the curse is lifted. I would not put it so strongly. Your discovery of the chalice was proof that the Templars never abandoned the De Vasconcelos. It counts for a great deal with my lady. What's the story behind the chalice vanishing? When the Inquisition raided, in the absence of Don Carlos, it was believed that they had taken it. Naturally, they denied the charge as they denied taking the children. And naturally, nobody believed them. But they were telling the truth. The chalice was hidden from them. You don't suppose they were telling the truth about the children as well, do you? Madre de Dios! I had not thought of that. But then what happened to them? I don't know. If the Inquisition didn't take them, then who did? You must speak to my lady of these. Count on it. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stobart. It looked a lot like a hazel tree. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha!
Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. Senior Stobart, you've, you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. Hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment, marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Sometime in antiquity, there'd been a rock slide. Big ones. I wished I'd had a hard hat. I'd need tools to move all that stuff. Heavy equipment that just wasn't available. A great stone lion's head with a gaping maw full of fangs. As far as I knew, nobody had cast eyes upon it for centuries as it stood, waiting in the cool shadows. The words of the psalm kept running through my head, save me from the lion's mouth. From a distance, the lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senior Stobart! Senior Stobart! Are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, Susto Mias Dada! You gave me a scare! Nice try, Templars.
there, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. Open Sesame! Another secret door! Before I left though, there was one last thing to do. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. <laughs>